Jane, this is Bob. Um, I have a project for you. It's a spreadsheet um, where I need you to actually insert some addresses, but I want to explain to you when to insert the address. So let's look here. The first person, uh, what we're looking for is an address that's not located at 17885 Collins Avenue. So let's look at the first one we find is Spiro Kasabasic, or whatever, if I pronounce that right. She is in Heartland, Michigan. Okay, that would qualify. Okay, so what we would need to do is we would come down here and insert a row, and we're going to copy her name. And the address is always going to be the same. It's going to be 17885 Collins Avenue Apartment. And then you would go over here. This is her apartment number, 505. Okay. In fact, I'll just put 505 here too. And then I'll come over here and put Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, 33160. Okay. So I'm looking for people that, okay, for this person here, um, let's go somewhere else. Daniel Levy. All right. He's in apartment 1602. He doesn't have he doesn't have the Collins address, so I'm going to insert a row. I'm going to put I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to come up here, just copy and paste that. Put it 602, and then I'm going to do that. Now, the only time that you wouldn't do this is if the address is not in the United States or Canada. For example. Um, Here's one here, okay, this gentleman, this couple right here, 905, okay, so I don't see, I don't see one for them. They're in Quito, Ecuador, so we're not going to send it all the way to Ecuador, but he, see they don't have a, uh, a 905 um, at 17805, so I would come in here again, I would copy this, I would come up here, I'd do the 17885 columns. Avenue, apartment number 905, right? Yes. And then again, it would be Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, 33160. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.